What's up YouTube? Jeff back again today with a very exciting Samsung video for you guys. Today we're talking about another set of hidden menus on Galaxy phones that has now been improved with an additional feature in One UI 6.1.1. We just keep uncovering interesting things. So I wanted to share this with you guys today. It's inside the My Labs menu for My Files, the Samsung File Manager app. Before we get started, do you want to thank my four-year-old son Jonathan for giving us the T-Rex and the horse to hang out back here. He always gives us some cool toys, dinos, animals, etc. to hang out. If you guys haven't yet, check out our website, sammyguru.com, covering the latest Samsung tutorials, updates, news, opinions, reviews. The breaking news usually goes over here first before I can put it on the YouTube channel. We have a full team of writers over here putting up 9 to 10 articles a day to keep you guys informed. Uh, bookmark the website. Try to come back to stay up to date all the time on Samsung stuff. You can also get in our free mystery box program if you're going to order a Galaxy S25 device here in the U.S. Get a free case, cleaning kit, desktop phone stand as well. Put in your phone number, email, or both to sign up right here. You'll be able to order through our affiliate link on launch day. That's all you have to do. We cover shipping. We cover the cost of the products. No cost to you. The link will be in the pinned comment description if you're interested. So a lot of you guys probably know because I've talked about it before. If you go into Samsung folder here, go to the My Files. This is where you have your file manager. You can you know have recent files, categories, storage, utilities. You put things in the trash, all that kind of stuff. But if you go into the three dot menu next to the search icon, go to settings, you'll see down here at the bottom, you've got the My Files lab. Now the way you enable this, just like for gallery, is go in here and tap repeatedly here on the uh, My Files version, and then it will enable the My Files labs down here at the bottom. Now if you tap on that, you've got a bunch of options, which I've talked about before, but there is a brand new option here, which is called Home Layout Reset Option. So quickly, if you haven't seen the other ones, I'll go through them. Permanently delete will allow you to permanently delete options in the delete dialog so it doesn't have to go to the trash can first. This is actually a feature people wanted for a long time and Samsung brought it back inside the labs menu. I covered this in a separate video when they bought it back because people were so excited, uh, which I'll drop below. But this is a great feature I recommend toggling on. Data history, this will allow you to basically look at your apps and see which apps are occupying the storage. Um, if you tap on this, it's going to show you categories and applications and kind of how it is kind of occupied this. Star, Spotify, YouTube. Now you see Star is a good lock app that stores your notification history. So it's taking up a lot of my storage because I have it set to keep like a year's worth of notifications. That's how I use a lot of the storage on my phone because sometimes I want to go back and revisit stuff. But obviously I could free up some storage. It lets you kind of see what it's using. Beeper is my messaging app. AI Core uses a lot. Obviously YouTube for offline playback and Spotify as well. This is a great one that kind of lets you see kind of what's going on with your data history. Definitely recommend turning that on. File operation history as well is great to kind of see what you've done, copying, pasting, trashing, etc. Media files in pending status. This kind of shows you any media files that didn't finish downloading. Original files of edited images and video files. You can keep those there so that then if you delete them or you save over something, you can come back here and retrieve them, which is great. And then reorganize folders. It says new feature, but it actually was in One UI 6.1 as well. This tidies up folders that have over 100 items. It reduces the time of searching to find a particular file. I don't use this a lot because aside from like folders that have my review samples for phones I'm reviewing, camera samples, I don't keep too many folders that have over 100 items in them. The new option is reset uh, option, home layout reset. So if you tap on this and then you go back into the settings, go to edit menu layout. Here you can change if you have recents, categories, uh, your various cloud services, network attached storage, if you have like a NAS like I have here at the office. You can then go up here on this three dot menu and reset all the settings if you want it back to the default. This three button menu will only be there if you enable this new option. So if you turn this off inside My Files Labs and go back to the edit menu layout, this three dot menu has now disappeared. So it's a very small thing, but if you jumble this up or change it and you wanted it back to how it was before, you can certainly then go ahead and revert it back using this new option inside My Files Labs. Now, there have been a lot of changes to Gallery Labs as well. I made a video on that. I'll drop it below. So many changes in One UI 6.1.1. We'll be trying to cover all of them. I've added a playlist on the YouTube channel if you guys want to check it out. And also, if you go over to the website, sammyguru.com, search One UI 6.1.1. We have a ton of coverage, including a long article that has everything you need to know. We keep updating it with new stuff. I'll drop that below in the pinned comment description if you want to check out that article. Again, make sure you go and sign up for the Mystery Box program if you're going to order a Galaxy S25 device here in the U.S. Phone number, email, or both to sign up to get all those free accessories. 
I definitely appreciate you guys sharing this video. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.